21 Bitcoin. <laughs> Welcome everybody, my name is Michael and today we're discussing about Bitcoin having a mass correction down to $61,000. Billions of dollars have been wiped out from the markets. What is going on? Well, there was a BitMEX flash crash. This was a sell order, large sell orders that were worth $55.49 million that drove Bitcoin's price all the way down to $8,900. Now, this overnight crash was very short-lived. It immediately bounced back up, but it was a little too late. All it took was for this one event to suddenly do a trickle effect, where right after this event, Bitcoin fell to $67,000, while we're right now at $61,000. Now, this wasn't the only thing bringing it down. It was also a reduction in inflows and ETFs. That will be the next video. But what happened was essentially a huge 50000 plus. Uh, even 60,000 plus difference between Bitcoin. So why did prices fall all the way down to 8,900, which was the lowest we've seen Bitcoin other than flash crashes, of course, since early 2020. And even for flash crashes, this was quite crazy. So the recovery was super quick. It went from 8,900 to rebounding back to 67,000 within a matter of 10 minutes. So what happened in these 10 minutes? The spot market crashed because of a whale that approximately sold 850 Bitcoins. BitMEX has announced that they're looking into this. The derivatives market, which is from BitMEX's side, a billion dollar market, is doing just fine. It hasn't been impacted. They came out with this. We launched an investigation as soon as we saw some unusual activity on our Bitcoin to USD Tether spot market. All of our systems were operating as normal, but we identified an aggressive selling behavior involving a very small number of accounts widely beyond expected market ranges. We cannot comment on any specific behavior of a user or actions that were taken, and we continue to investigate. The trading platform is operating as normal, and all funds are safe. safe. So why would this happen? Why would a party have multiple accounts that were specifically designed to get that price to fall so low? Well, because you have other accounts that are waiting, that are ready to purchase Bitcoin. Boom! It falls to $8,900. Rebounds just as quick. Well, those people who were waiting to purchase Bitcoin at insane prices, you got to do it. And right now, if you were one of the lucky ones, depending on how much you invested, you might have made five, six, potentially even seven figures. It very well could have been seven figures, maybe even eight because we're talking about selling $55 million. It has to be a whale or multiple whales. It could be an organization. It could be an individual. It could be a family office, or it could be a pool that's working together. They decided, hey, as a syndicate, let's just like a lottery syndicate, let's work together with all of our money. Let's pull everything together and let's manipulate this market. And why BitMEX? Well, BitMEX has had its fair share of controversies over the years. It must have just been an easier target than some of the larger exchanges. Who knows? Or it could have been a misclick, a fat finger trade. So what happened was whoever owned the $55 million was wanting to sell this, obviously. But they hit market sell, and there wasn't enough volume. Essentially, you have all of the buy orders filled immediately, but the volume is so large... That market depth is so drastic compared to everything else. You have a lot of these low buy orders. You see these huge price swings and it's basically called slippage. You have everything filled out and one large sell order can be instantly matched with everything at the top and then it keeps going and it keeps going and it keeps going. And then the next, the last person was saying, hey, I'm, I'm going crazy, you know, just for instances like this, flash crashes, I'll buy Bitcoin at 8900 If this was an accident, maybe, you never know, maybe someone was just playing their luck. Hey, this is like the lottery. And maybe they got their order filled. And that was that difference. BitMEX couldn't find any other buyers within that specific time frame. Now, all the other exchanges usually don't see this happen. So it also can mean that the exchange kind of sucks and maybe it was a manipulation or maybe the, the exchange is coming out and saying, oh, there was multiple accounts to make it seem like they're in charge, everything's fine. We were manipulated. 
but really it's just their faulty system. I mean, usually you don't see this. You see flash crashes every single year. Hundreds of millions of dollars are pouring in, and it could be a case of bad timing. could be a group that's specifically out there to make some money. Either way, whoever bought Bitcoin at below $10,000, if you were able to secure that, congratulations to you. And that is that for today. Have a good one and take care.